How many networks have all that nerd shit wrapped up in a neat little bow? DC Toy Power and Pokemon Go, the blazing defender for sure. Don't you dare change that channel, we've got breaking the panel. We are the Giant Sons Team Up, nerd is what we know. If you want geeky podcasts, well, there's nowhere better to go. Oh yeah, and Botch Podcast. This is Audrey Currents of GeekGirlAuthority.com. I'm here to tell you that not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previous. Leon. Wow, that's great start. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> Botched. How much have you had to drink? Tea. Are we still, are <laughs> we still drag water. I'm keeping it. <laughs> After we destroyed Oscar Jr., we had to leave the facility to find out it was all an illusion. Because we're done. <sighs> then we got stuck in prison because... Prison? <laughs> Kamash... We got stuck in prison. Kamash, Kamash. double... Double teamed us and, and handed us over. <laughs> double teamed us. <laughs> to, 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 mm-hmm. What's it called? Double, double cross. cross. D- double cross. Double dutch. Double dutch. This, this yeah. is the, like thing where I see Phil like do like two shots and suddenly he's falling over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat and then I drink all night. I gotta save my calories. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Kamash double crossed us and handed us over to Oscar. We were then imprisoned and we met Tony. We broke out of prison. Kamash ended up accidentally getting stabbed in the fight. And now Oscar is dead. And Root, Monsters, and Egbert are running trains upon the up, upside-down world. That you used to live in. What? <laughs> what are you even talking about anymore? <laughs> and now we're on our way. We arrived. Nope. Take two. Oh, we're on just two now? We oh, arrived. Okay. Oh, take three. We're now entering Big Tinkerton. And for some reason, Peggy knew that we were coming and is standing out front. The end. All right, welcome back to Botch. This is episode 41 of our second season. Thanks so much for tuning in. Why are you still listening? I, I, I don't even know. But uh, so we're going to pick up as the group is riding upon Big Tinkerton. So, uh, home sweet gnome. Meh, 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 meh. No one's ever made that joke before. Yeah, no. So you guys, are you just going to just head right into the gates? Really? Nobody made it? Oh, God. <laughs> we will show them no mercy. <laughs> no means no. So Peggy flags you guys down as you're coming in, and she looks a bit confused, as she doesn't see Dashiell anywhere. She runs over. Guys, where's Dashiell? Where's Who's my Dashiell? Who's Dashiell? Who the fuck are you? Half I'm David. Over there. Uh, what? What? Uh, What'd you say? What? She doesn't know him either. She only knows me. It's true. We yeah, picked, no, that's true. Yeah, no. Uh, Who are these assholes, Brock? Uh, Who's this asshole? Uh, Who are these people? Where's my dashel? I got an itch downstairs if you know what I'm well, saying. Well, don't have it with this guy. And I put my arm on cord. Uh, he looks he looks uh, kind of familiar. This uh, is kind of cute. I've got one of those faces. Uh, no, I've got a, I've got a helmet. I've got the helmet on. Or the, and the power oh, armor still. True. So. Why is he wearing my Dashiell's armor? Dashiell's dead. What? <laughs> she starts wailing and just run, just drops to her knees and starts screaming. Pregnant, by the way. Super pregnant. Don't fall on that belly. I can... Kick. <laughs> I try to calm her down. Okay. I try and punt her. What would that be? 
uh, charisma. 12. Nope. She just wails harder. Uh, just scream and wail. Cord, cord, go console your mother. Uh, Did she hear me say that? Nope. Uh, just put a hand a over idea. her mouth. <laughs> Stroke her hair. You know what always calms me down? Planking. <laughs> <laughs> it shaved my life once. I can't plank. I'm pregnant. You fuck. Well, that's so. Okay. Look, <laughs> Dashiell was assassinated by Oscar, the mayor of Massive City. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Match. Why would he do such a thing, my sweet Dashiell? Ah, uh, well, we we returned favor. What? And I we we killed Oscar. Like yeah. a lot of people. Because she wouldn't give me a permit for my dojo. No, we <laughs> killed him in in retaliation of the death of Dashiell. Well, at least she got revenge, but that doesn't bring back my Dashiell. No. But, <laughs> hey, good news. Oh, I've got uh, I got half of Dashiell uh, here. Jumping into telepathy. I got half. Hey, of... maybe maybe not. What? Bringing up the fact that I'm. I've got half of from... Dashiell's stuff here <laughs> that I can I can give you. Do you have any of his clothes? I've got all of his clothes. Great, actually. I'll take them. Okay. So I can his, smell them. His one outfit. <laughs> and one. trench coat. It certainly I smells. I got his duster. So oh, still I, got my musk on it. Uh, I hand over Dashiell's duster to to peg she takes it and inhales deeply <laughs> yeah that's my dash uh he like did blood and say sweat how much he vomit. you with his uh he <laughs> did say that <laughs> this lady seems a bit batty <laughs> <laughs> she's a no um with his dying breath he professed his love for his peg and we buried him uh, between two friends. <laughs> two friends. <laughs> Where is he? Out? He's a, actually he's he's between uh, a rock and a hot place. <laughs> Atlanta and Maple Hills, isn't he? He's yeah, he's over by what used to be the Elephant Rock. Yeah, so he's buried by the Elephant Rock. I I made a gravestone, a nice a nice resting place. For <laughs> I'm just like our arms sticking out. <laughs> So uh, she says, okay, and then she scuttles over to, like, what appears to be a dump truck with a digging arm on it and says, see you later, and then just, does she, does she actually scuttle, uh, or? Yeah, because she's pregnant. <laughs> that's how pregnant You shouldn't be handling heavy machinery when you're pregnant. But you're oh, that's my mom. It's okay, she's she on a lot that? of painkillers. <laughs> she's on painkillers. <laughs> she does hear that. She just, what did you say? She's talking to you. What did you say? Uh, Download that ROM, I believe you said. <laughs> yeah. Deception? Uh, Shouldn't I roll it? <laughs> well, uh, that'll be a seven. I got a 14. Wow. Uh, I like plums. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I've seen him stuffing his face with them. Uh, she does look for CD-ROMs. Cord. She goes, what did you say? I'm your mother. There's no way I'm your mother. This is the first baby I ever had. You're right. That, you, that makes you sense. resemble my mom. And she is like that. Who's your mother? Who's your mother? <laughs> She's dead. What? What was the name? I'll go find her. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> what? I got a digging arm on this fucking truck. That's, I don't give a that's shit. That's not you, what a normal person she would cremated do. Cremated and thrown into the ocean. She's a bit strong at the moment. <laughs> ocean? We ain't anywhere close to an ocean. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Who are you? Why do you keep answering questions for him? He's my legal guardian. <laughs> you look like you're in your 20s. I am a I... man child. <laughs> <laughs> I am very I... responsible. <laughs> Roll one more deception. <laughs> All right, I got, I got a 13. Yeah, no, she, she's like, okay, whatever. Peg, before you leave, you have a... She has a house, an apartment to... What did she have? Can we sleep at your place? Can we crash in your house for like 24 hours? Yeah, sure, whatever. And she just tosses you the keys. I, What's the address? Yeah. It's no, on the keys. I, I know where it's at. <laughs> I got them. How do you know off. that? Because I was watching. <laughs> and listening. Yeah, I joined in. <laughs> Smelling. <laughs> Seems we have a voyeur in our midst. 
So, yep. Yeah, so she peels off into the <laughs> wastes. <laughs> God, what an awful... She went from zero to crazy. <laughs> well, her baby daddy did just get murdered, so she might be a bit disappointed and saddened and grief-stricken. Also, she's pregnant. Also, she's pregnant. That fucks with your hormones, too. And she has pre-postpartum depression. <laughs> <laughs> it's a common issue with known babies. It's not the baby, it's the... Well, known pregnancies. Yeah. When you're having a known baby is what I meant. No, all known babies are depressed. <laughs> so you, you just head to Peggy's place and take a nap? Sleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you go in there and you can take a long rest. Peggy will wake up, or will come back and wake you up at 7 hours and 59 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to raid her liquor cabinet so I can sleep that extra minute. She doesn't have any booze anymore. What She's about... Known. She's got booze. She, maybe the heroin. Oh, the heroin. Well, she's pregnant. Gnomish heroin. Gnomish heroin. The finest. <laughs> That's some serious shit. Gnomish black tar heroin. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, you guys all take a nap, and each of you has another dream. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm running out of places to write this So, uh, Cord, you can deal mental damage to people. Yes. So if you create a psychic link with somebody, you can cause, uh, like, a little small brain hemorrhage. All right. What's what's my attack for that, or is it just... Uh, It would be a wisdom attack. Okay. And it would be a d8 damage. Plus anything? Wisdom. And then Grohl, you can minorly control small plant life. So, like, little bushes and things like that. You can make them do stuff. Make them do things. We'll need you on the mushroom farm. <laughs> and David Hypan, you... Can minorly control plant life. You can make minor illusions. God damn it. And... Yes. Mecha Brock. Mecha Brock. So you can you shoot could, blood out your nose at <laughs> <it> will. <laughs> <laughs> you could turn on fire. So that was the last thing you got. Uh, this time you can summon uh, large plant creatures to fight with you once a day. So like bears, root bears, moosen, root coons, root moose. <laughs> he said large. Raccoons are not large. The root coon was very large. Oh god, I hate it. <laughs> um, how many rounds is that? It's like camel tars. Until it dies. Okay. Or until you get rid of it. Once a day. Yep. So those are your newfound abilities after being close to what's-his-face as he's firing off his rounds. So you wake up eight hours later, fully refreshed, healed fully. Peggy is somehow fairly upbeat in the kitchen, cooking some food. She's in denial. Oh, no. (laughs) Is there somebody at the table? Is somebody at the table. Are they wearing a duster? (laughs) No. They're not wearing it. Oh, wait, I guess you did give it to her. Um, no, not wearing the <laughs> duster, but there's dirt all over the place. What smells like a corpse in <laughs> here? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you saw, but Dashiell's back. Oh, dear God. <laughs> that is a dead man. She pats her tummy and she's like, oh, little cord, you're going to see your daddy. Oh, Jesus. Hey, that baby has the same name as you do. <laughs> 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 is that a common gnomish name? It, yes, yes, it really is. No. Uh, in my neighborhood. What neighborhood? What are you making for breakfast? <laughs> I'm making pancakes. That's Dashiell's favorite. Bacon pancakes? <laughs> pancakes and crepes and maple booze. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we minor illusion to make it look like Dashiell grabs a glass? <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> That'd be too more into madness. I, I think that would be too cruel. <laughs> and he's got he's got no eyes left. He's just maggots coming out of like all of his orifices. He died like two days ago. Yeah, two days in the heat. No, he was underground. It's not hot. Under some rocks. <laughs> yeah, they still get in there. <laughs> I'm not. A- so yeah, that's what you. That's this is the scene. <sighs> And she sets a place for each of you at the table. Come and, come and sit down with like Dashiell. Don't be, uh, don't be maybe, shy, Dashiell. You know you're not, you're not shy. I just gotta... Should, maybe we oh. should... <laughs> Sorry, should, I have uh, an appointment at the bar. I've got to do my hair. All of a sudden you hear a... Come on, guys. Stay here for a while. As Peggy shoves her arm in his back. 
<laughs> and he's like, him. I knew the first, I knew the first years were rough. I didn't know they were this bad. Uh, I gotta go. Maybe we should get uh, I gotta, we gotta a nice go. doctor to come look at Dashiell's um, face. Well, I don't know, guys. I'm feeling pretty good. So <laughs> I explained to Peg that we have an early meeting with Jeb, and that we have to. Not keep, eat. keep our appointment time, and we're, oh, yeah. we're we're running a little late. Sure, you should take Dash with you. He no. goes. He loves Jeb. Um, Dash, no. I... Dashel um, is look, sick. He's got. He's a little <laughs> under the weather. He's very sick. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm perfectly healthy. I leave. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> oh, I leave. God. Okay, and I tried to explain, like, no, you need to fix yourself. That's fine. Me and some dash could use some alone time yeah. anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we've come to corpse fucking. That's right. It has only Uncharted taken us. territory. I walk out of the house, get down on both knees, knee, knees. <laughs> <laughs> and just cry. Oh, I'm boy. gonna grab as many pancakes uh, and grapes uh, <laughs> as possible and walk out. Okay, yeah, you can grab a whole lot of pancakes. That's a lot of flapjacks. I'll flap your jack. Oh, oh my. boy! So yeah, I'll so, check your brawl friend. Ooh. Might I have one of those flapjacks? Sure. Oh. And you, you see the giant flapjack? rabbit's feet too. What? Yes. A giant rabbit's foot. Why is it a giant rabbit? From from the uh, Moose Town. From Maple Hills. Okay. I guess it is (laughs) giant in comparison to a regular rabbit's foot. About yay big. We were trying to monetize it. It's not Bugs Bunny. No, they were small creatures. Yeah, but their feet aren't gigantic. Sure they are. I would say they're more about the size of a brick. All right, so I'm going to... One brick of rabbit. As as they're fighting about breakfast and he's throwing up, I'm probably going to run... Perception check. (laughs) Damn it! (laughs) Uh, 24. This is also on illusion. Wouldn't it be perception not to hear that? Nope, you definitely hear that. God damn it. All right. Don't you still have a Huey? Huh? Don't you still have a Huey? I don't know what you're talking about. A helicopter. I do. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're getting to that. I want to get her. We can get to the fly. A doctor. A doctor. Yeah. I need to either go to a local phys- uh, physician or the mayor to alert them that she's lost her goddamn she's mind. She's fucking a corpse. Yeah, how do you uh, how do you commit someone in gnomish law? I'm I'm vomiting <laughs> and crying. <laughs> so uh, I, I do that. You just go and find go to the police station. Ask how to commit somebody for their own safety, and they they say, um, what, "What's what's she's, up?" Uh, Peggy just needs Somebody. an assistance. Peggy, who? You think we just know everybody in this fucking town? She was the mayor's uh, secretary, assistant. S- assistant PA. Okay, that Peggy. Okay. Yeah. What? What's? What's the problem? She is mentally losing it. She's fucking a corpse. Oh god, I didn't want to really that come out and say technically it. Technically illegal. She. She. She doesn't think it's a corpse. My god. Well, um, she, here's, she, a, she, here's a number you can call and they'll take her someplace nice and no, soft. No, I don't want her, like, you, you used hand quotes like yes. it's not nice and soft. No, it's great. It's good. No, you keep using <laughs> hand quotes. It's good. I don't. It's she's, a fun place. She's pregnant. All right. Okay. I, I go to the mayor because the mayor would be a little bit more sensitive to this situation. Okay. Than the so you go there and there's nobody at the front desk. Because yeah, Peggy's out, and uh, so there's just I just guards or whatever. And they're like, excuse me, a uh, jet uh, badge boop with the jet uh, jet pass. It's not that's uh, not what that's for. But since we obviously know who you are, <laughs> just go the fuck upstairs. Yeah, exactly, get out of my way. All right, you're bad at your job. Send someone for Peggy. So you go upstairs, get on the elevator, boop 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 boop, boop <laughs> and then yeah, and uh, you're in the mayor's office. Yeah. And he's like. Boils, what can I do for you? Hey, your assistant Peggy needs help. Clinical help. What? What happened to Peggy? Well, she's she dug up a corpse of Dashiell. Oh her God. husband. Dashiell's dead? Dashiell died. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole thing. I don't oh, have time. Jesus Go listen to the back catalog. But <laughs> back catalog. here's the thing. Yeah, it's, uh, 
I'll, I'll botchpodcast.com you can listen to all of it. But um, she dug his corpse up and fed it breakfast and now believes he's still alive and is talking nicely to him. Yeah, she puppet him. Oh my god. Well, um, and now she's she's what fucking him. She's oh god, what? Yeah, no, no, yeah. Maybe. Oh, Jesus. We oh, don't Jesus, know that. Baby. We didn't see it. I know you. You fell too fast. Uh, so Hold he gets on, on so the Jesus phone. Jesus is a person in this. Thing? That's just a figure of speech these days. Yeah. It's not an actual religion. It just has it kept going. Hey Zeus. <laughs> hey Zeus. The channel. Hey Zeus. Jesus. <laughs> Don't make it bad. Um, so he gets on the phone and calls the uh, mental health facility. No, but but remember, but it's she... the good mental okay, health facility. Okay, it's the good facility. one. Come yeah, right. it's the high class one. And he says, "Well, well, boys, I'm gonna go down and meet meet her too." She's pregnant. Yep, that's why I'm gonna be All there right. too. She's probably Take gonna be a little her. confused. I'm gonna. Look for the guns, because it can be a bit violent. Don't let anything happen to that baby. Sure. Sure? I mean, that's Wait, a matter you're of not life sure about that? Well, no, I'm just wondering why you're so concerned. Well, it's it's Dashiell's kid, so it's oh, like, okay, that's, I mean, that's friend fair. of the family. I'm almost like a godfather to that bastard child. <laughs> yeah, he's right over there. To... No, I'm, I'm outside. He's no, outside I'm vomiting. crying. Oh, okay. He's right outside. So Long yeah, cry. he immediately gets his stuff, puts on his jacket, and heads out. Pants. Yeah, his pants. <laughs> pulls, his, pulls his pants up. <laughs> puts the Kleenex away. <laughs> I got a job to do. It's right. Poor Gotta put the pants on. Pun was not here to schedule my day, so it's just masturbate, masturbate, masturbate. I understand. Uh, so yeah, he he leaves. All right, now. To get the Brockcopter. <laughs> the Hella Brock. The. Hella no, Brockcopter. Brockcopter? Brockcopter. The Mechacopter. Huh? The Mecha Brockcopter. Brockcopter. Yeah, sure. See ya. So, um, I try to wrangle up everybody. <laughs> okay. I guess he's vomiting. Yeah. High Pan, who knows? He's never been out of. I don't know what city. to do here. Yeah. Rolls out of. There's no bar? mushroom forest. <laughs> well, eating pancakes. Eating pancakes at the bar. At the bar. <laughs> I brought my own. Eating pancakes. What's the bar here? I forget. I don't remember what the name. I think of it I have is. it written down. What, what, go, go see what Cord's doing as I try to pull this up. Cord, what are you doing? Uh, I rolled a con check to see if I was able to stay conscious while losing all these fluids and uh-huh. crying. And, no, sure. I, I'm asleep. So you passed out in a puddle of your own vomit. Gotcha. Yep. Eventually, someone wakes you up as there are men in white coats and another man who's better dressed. He's like, son, uh, you're lying in a puddle of your own vomit. You're not my dad. No, I'm not. Oh, God. Wait, who's your mother? Oh, it doesn't. I don't. Because I might. I mean, maybe. I'll get around, but no. you don't look like mine. No. <laughs> Well, do you have these parts? G unit. He pulls down his pants. Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Well, oh God. So he says, basically, we're here to get Puggy. Do you know Puggy? Uh, no. Okay, well, we're gonna have to ask you to get the fuck out of the way. Okay. We got some shit to do. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. And then he heads in the house. Well, he knocks on the door, and then. You see the door open, and Peggy's got her hair all askew. And she's like, oh, Mia, it's my day off. I'm, I'm just here with my boyfriend, Dashiell. I like, saw it. Oh, God. Well, Peggy, um, I'm going to come in real fast. And she's like, what are these men with white coats? Uh, let, yep, that's just... And they just kind of push their way in, and then you just start to hear things being thrown around and, like, screams and stuff like that. And then after about 15 or so minutes, you see her come out in, like, a white coat. Like a... <laughs> Wait, is she now wearing the medical white coat? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's killed them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the doctor now. No. Oh, God. They said I was cute. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Harvey Dent? <laughs> she's just dragging Dashiell's corpse behind her. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Walkies. Um, so, yeah, no, they put her in the, the, the very nice van. And the mayor gets in with her. And then uh, some other people go in afterwards and come out with a casket to bury Dashiell properly, not where Peggy can find for right now. 
I'm going to follow the casket. Okay. So the casket goes to a cemetery nearby, and an unmarked grave uh, they bury him in. All right. And they make a note of it, so that way when Peggy's okay... They'll mark it. They'll mark it so she can come and look, but... I uh, draw a map. They also encase it in cement. And in like, case he zombifies. Well, no, in Lead, case Peggy, cement, in la- in case wooden Peggy stakes, comes back. garlic, <laughs> silver. And they weigh it down, too. Iron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's more for Peggy. Salt. It's Peggy-proof. Gasoline. <laughs> Nothing is Peggy-proof. <laughs> well, they figure that she'll probably make enough noise that somebody will come and stop her. Molten lava. Well, they would just incinerate the body at that point if that was a just around the casket, a moat as a protective Actually, layer. Actually, what they probably will do is they'll probably um, what's it called when you burn the body? Cremate. 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 Yeah, they'll cremate the body and put it in a little urn so she'll have it, and then they bury the urn for right now, just because it's too much. It's too much too soon. <laughs> That's what you see when you follow them. All right. Cool. You guys have no idea where. Cord is right now. No. Just walked <laughs> off. But I go to the bar to see. Man. Man. <laughs> so I figure with Grohl being Grohl, he's at the bar. Uh huh. You find him eating pretty easily. Pancakes. Probably yeah. eating he's, pancakes. He's finishing up the pancakes at this okay. point. Yeah, so you found him. Does the bartender remember me? That, no. No. He sees faces all the time. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. All right, girl. What? Everybody's in all different places. And we need they to could find... all be in this place. We got we got bring them together. Okay. I need your help to find everybody. Good luck. Sniffer dog. Good. No, you got to help me. <laughs> I thought I was with you. I figured you were wandering Big Tinkerton because you've never been out in the real world before. Mm. Just wandered off. Scared. Probably on mushrooms. Doing karate demonstrations in the t- t- in the street. Tinker tin yep. people. Some people seem impressed. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Tinker tots. And some people are like, uh, you know, well, now we'll, we'll have space available for a dojo, <gasps> but you can't have a permit. <laughs> Why would you tell me that? <laughs> Just to fuck with Just you. the light, all, you know, the anime only on the eyes <laughs> shot happens to <laughs> David Hyde. Do you know what happened to the last man that told me that? <laughs> I melted him like a bottle. Cut off his hand and he exploded. The campaign is just a story of high pan opening permits. up dojos everywhere. He just, <laughs> wants, just wants to get permits. But I just no want one... to spread the enlightenment of mastering Shrooms. your own body with so, mushrooms. But yes, they do say that you can get a permit. And, you know, you should probably open up a dojo in town or something. That might be yeah, something that I people think I will. Into. Shiny and chrome. Yeah. So while you're doing karate demonstrations, I'm gonna say eventually Mecha Brock finds you doing karate poses and things yeah. like that in town. It's pretty easy to find. How about you? Sure. Because he's taller than everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and doing spinning kicks. And yeah, just doing karate moves. Hey Dable. I ate all the pancakes. I had one. I ate the other twenty-seven. <laughs> I. Had- Ate around the maggot in mine, though. Oh. Cord, would you be looking for snack. them at this point? Or how? what would you be doing? Uh, I was wandering. Okay. Aimlessly. Yeah. Vomit stained. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Brock, uh, Grohl, and David Hypan can do random perception checks if they want to see if they can find Cord. I they got an 11. Mm. I got a 19. Neat. You, can, you, you smell a waft of familiar vomit. So you get the scent trail, and you're pretty sure you, you can follow it to him. So what's hey, that, girl? What do you smell, boy? <laughs> gnome vomit. <laughs> Half gnome vomit. Mutant vomit. Cyborg vomit. So after about 30 minutes of wandering, you do find Cord, and now the group is reunited. Oh, well, hey guys. Hello. Did you take your helmet off before you were vomiting? <laughs> No, yeah. no, you didn't. never said you took your helmet off. It's just, it's like a fishbowl of <laughs> vomit. Uh, hi. No, I didn't. No, so it's, it's, just, just, it's just sloshing around. <laughs> 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 Hello. Well, Cord, your, your mother's in a better place now. 
Oh, I'm not. Oh. What are you guys doing? I need someone to hose me down. Got it. Unzip my pants. <laughs> no, no, not like that. <laughs> done and done. I believe I shot a hose at the at the local bar. Bar. Those are hoes. Right. They're not the same thing. Different thing. Pimps and hoes. He doesn't want to be hoed down. Well, I don't know that. I don't want to go to a hoe down. <laughs> it's a hoot name. You could grow up with your own <laughs> shun at the same time. <laughs> the same age. Uh, Wouldn't that be nice? No. <laughs> no. Being best friends with your own boy. Oh God. <laughs> 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 Or daughter. My self-esteem isn't high to begin with. My non-self-esteem is going to be pretty low. Maybe he'll never know that she went crazy. And fucked a corpse. Oh. Oh. I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I know when the now, time is right. But I know I'll now. tell Anyways, so what are you guys doing? Do I... Have I ever flown the brachycopter? None of you have ever flown a brachycopter. And it wasn't big enough to hold everyone, right? That one wasn't... No. Uh, no, I think we did say that it was. It wasn't big enough to hold your moving vehicles, vehicles, but you guys could all ride in it. All right. I'm going to teach myself how to fly a helicopter. All right. Intelligence check. Do you want to look for the instructions? 18, 19. Are you all in the helicopter No, now? not yet. No. Okay. Hey. I figured there's a book. Sure. Baby's first helicopter. <laughs> yeah. 20. Yeah, yeah. You you've perused through the book. You get all the. You you pretty much know how to turn it on, turn it off, take off, landing, banking, do a barrel roll. Very barrel roll, not so much. But you know how to fly it pretty well. All right. So I explained to everybody that we need to go up to talk to an old friend and try to work out. You're gonna fly the helicopter to the metal fortress? Yeah, why not? I guess you can. I mean, you could have walked. The helicopter's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Everyone's okay. Gonna... I'm going up to talk to Jet. Okay. So uh, if nobody wants to come with me, that's fine. Who? Yeah, no one else knows who that is but you. It's. Uh, I don't want to sound weird, but it's a giant metal man in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yes. What? <laughs> he, used what to, he used to be friends I... with your father. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. I've told people that one before, too. <laughs> <laughs> Me, too. So you just take the helicopter up and fly up? Yeah, everybody, everybody I get going in, with? and I fly it to the best of my ability. Uh, roll intelligence. 17. Yep, good enough. So you get up there, you land, and Jed is he comes out to greet you. Now let me remember. He was a hill prune. Yeah, no, he was. Like an old hey. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Was it, wasn't it like Foghorn Leghorn a bit? It was his character. It was, it was yeah, no, like no. Savannah, Georgia. I don't know what that says. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do uh, it. Think, um, what's his name on House of Cards? Kevin Spacey? Yeah. Like a southern drawl, but not Texas. Are you going to load up the episode? Yeah, I'm going to get the episode. That's whatever. Because I think his voice changed in mid episode from like that to heavy southern. <laughs> I think Foghorn Leghorn was the ending result, but yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, you boys, what you guys doing here? That sounds pretty close. Yeah, sounds whatever. Like close enough. Hillbilly. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi. I don't know. How you boys doing? Hey, where did the rest of you go? Yeah, they're all dead. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's been a weird three days, man. He's like, I can tell that you got some more of those gems, though. That's I, pretty good. I got one more out of Massive City from uh, Oscar. But things have have kind of gone south. But you technically got the fire one, too, since you saw him. Uh, yeah, and the fire one. Oh, that's, yeah. that's good. So you only really need the one more, and then we can go take on that uh, forest fuck. Yeah, he's really causing chaos down below. Yeah, so I've been seeing. Yeah, what, what the, what the, <clears throat> what the what? Basically, it looks like wherever you boys go, he then just goes right in there afterwards. I know, but we had a verbal contract that he would hold his his rudiness. Oh, you didn't know? No, I don't. I really don't. Verbal contracts don't mean shit in the waste. <sighs> but we have a verbal contract. Well, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> 
I ain't a cunt. Yeah, no, I kind of like you for now. How's the wife and kids? Oh, they're same old, same old. Yeah, I get it. Looking forward to them to not be in metal. Yeah, I hear it. Me too. Then I can touch them. What? What? <laughs> and feel things. I haven't felt things in hundreds of years. It's better that way. Just clang, clang, clang. Well, I meant... It's... I meant... Metaphorically, but... No, nope, yeah, I, I guess mean real things. Physically. Yep. It's just all metal. So I just... We really just need that floater, right? Yeah, you need the one from the Cloud City. Yeah, do you have any tips or tricks... You got like a game genie I could borrow? Or oh, a, game genie? Or a, I got one right in my fucking back pocket. Prima uh, guide to, to. He says, uh, well, you're going to run into one pretty glaring issue. You're not made of clouds. And That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, so when you get to the cloud city, you're just going to fall right through it. I mean, I've had, I have heard that. Nothing can stop us now because we're all made of stars, but... No, you're really not made of stars, though. You're made of people bits. Mm. And kung fu, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is David Highpan. Oh, way. nice to meet you, David Highpan. Uh, this is Grohl. Oh, nice to meet you, Grohl. Nice to meet you, Jen. Ple- pleasure. Did he get your name right? I don't know. He added a letter <laughs> on the end, I think. And this is Dash Jen. of Suncourt. Hello. What? I'm from the future. Yep. Oops. What? Uh, how? Uh, science. Uh, science. Oh, that's your nah, shit. I ain't a science. Nah, you ain't a science. Science boy. I don't know that sort of thing. <laughs> you, you certainly are not a science. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're a big metal man. Earth support. science, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Got you there. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, he says, well, I mean... You're going to need some sort of magic in order to... To stand on cloud? Yep. If only you knew some sort of vendor or something that might have some sort of thing thing for that. Like who? I just stare at (laughs) cord. Perhaps it's those vials you pocketed. What kind of... like? And I take out these vials of of liquid Mm -hmm. goo... (laughs) That's cum. No. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like cum, smells like cum. It's because it's cum. No. Uh, he goes, well, that might be the stuff. I'm not really up on my potions. I wouldn't drink it right now, there's though. There's only three. Like, there's there's five of us. Well, four you, of could, us. you could split them up. And then they just won't last quite as long. Or maybe someone could stay in the helicopter. Yeah, we have a helicopter. Like, couldn't I just... just... You fall right through it. The helicopter. The helicopter will literally mm-hmm. just fall right through it. It's but clouds. couldn't I just keep it... Running? Running? Uh, hovering? Oh, you're right. Helicopters don't run on gasoline. No, no. Apparently not here. They do. They're solar powered. They're not solar powered. <laughs> They're murdered powered. What if we got some sort of... <laughs> coal. Core reactor to power the helicopter with friendship. <laughs> Well, the other problem is going to be that it's not exactly defenseless. Cloud City will probably shoot at you. Where is Cloud City? He goes, well, it floats around all over the place. So he pulls out a metal telescope. Why'd you make that face? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking I was about just that. about to tell you where it is, no, no, and then no. you fucking make that face. I have, you know uh, what? Fuck you. No, I'm done. No, no, I have to. He runs up and touches your face. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, so he pulls out his, uh, like a dick. scope, he pulls out his dick. <laughs> metal dick, and just clangs it on the ground. It's <laughs> going not, inside you. Not really part of it. Just wanted to show off. <laughs> <laughs> show off. Not a big deal. So I guess it's slinky big. out. <laughs> and then it just fills in. Fun for a girl and a boy. Yeah. Uh, so he says, uh, a "Strange trip. Looks like it's about due southwest right now." So does it have a, an orbit that it keeps to? Yeah, it just kind of floats, floats all over the place. Floats. Okay. Is there anything on the ground level that would uh, indicate where it is? A uh, shadow? Like a shadow? Yeah. Cool. I mean, but the problem is it's a cloud, so I mean, Could all be. clouds are going to be a shadow, but it's God, a pretty I, big cloud. I really wish we would have gotten those cloud boots from Kamash before he accidentally fell onto a knife in his face. That was really unfortunate. Yeah, it was a bad... 
That sounds like a bad time. Yeah, it was a bad time. The mistakes, shitty was rumbling and everything. Mistakes mm. were made. Yeah, so mm. I almost trusted Kamash. <laughs> trusted enough to get what I needed. He was always a nice vendor to me. I don't know what your boy's problem is. I, I don't know which problem is with him. He shaved my life. He shaved it? Yeah, shaved my life. Shaved, shaved, shaved my shaved life forever. My, <laughs> he shaved my <laughs> wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I know your wife. Well, that's good, I guess. Nigh unshameable. <clears throat> so he said, yeah, I mean, you can take that rocker copter or whatever you got going on it's over there. It's called a helicopter. Whatever. I don't give a shit. You can take it over there. All I right. would, I would suggest. Smellicopter. The problem is you won't really be able to land it. I, I got it. I, I understand what you're saying, Chad. You might need to just jump out. And then lose the rocker copter. No, that's not how it's going to work. How it's I'm going to work. I'm going to hire a pilot. You could do that too. They'll drop us off. So, do you think like Kamash had the only magical thing, or could I find another? You might be able like to find a, another like vendor. A shaman, not even a, a vendor. I'm talking about a shaman, someone who can. A shaman would probably have Justington. that. Justington. Well, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I hear them shamans in New T- in uh, Tuskington. They're pretty good with their potions. No, 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 they're not. <laughs> I got another shaman. Blabarian. There was this old man, I remember. He used to make the greatest <laughs> potions. Man, what a head about that man. He used good to head stand his... right next to the gate. <laughs> yep. Selling potions. Yep. He had a good head on his shoulders. Yeah. Uh, not anymore. He's really going to get a head in life. Yeah. No, we get your head jokes. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you've been great and informative. So what, like anywhere I go, I can just rock a copter up, take a look, and see this uh, floating. If you fly, city. I mean, if you, if you, you'll, you'll know when you see it. It's basically a city made of clouds. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Is there anything I can get you to do for you since we're here? We flew all the way up here. I'm. Do you need I'm anything? fine. I'm good. You look good. <laughs> Thanks. Have you lost some? Nope. Have you Metal lost have any you, weight you, or gained any weight in you, about six or seven hundred years? Have you? Sh- okay. You don't really gain or lose anything when you're made out of metal. Well, Still about like, about a ton. You could. No, <laughs> you're not a ton. Ah, I'm pretty on. dense nah, metal. Come on. You're you're being too hard on yourself. Well, I'm gonna leave now. Um, Good. Good. I mean, we, we're friends. <laughs> no. Yep. Yep. We are, but I don't see where this conversation is going. I so. Leave. Just wanted to say hello. Thanks cool. for the information. Nice to meet you. Dash up nice to meet you. I want to too. introduce you to my new ragtag uh, group of t- dead people. Of yep. People that will die soon. <laughs> soon to be dead. Yep. yep. Gotcha. And uh, I'll be back for you. What? What was that? I said I'll be What's back that? to see you in a few days mm-hmm. and let you. You know, I want to. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, one, 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 one more question. Mm-hmm. Now we got this like robot man that keeps like. All of us are. Yeah, I it's, threw him into the mountains yeah, last did, time you were here. He, he's back now. Like, is there any way to like stop him? Not really stop him. Just like deactivate him for a bit. Not that I know of. Does, he kind of just pesters all of us gym folk. Does he have any likes or dislikes? Gems. He likes gems a lot. He dislikes anyone carrying the gem a lot. But why? Why is he that? He wants them. He wants them juicy, juicy gems inside him. Oh, so throwing the the bag of gems at him would be a bad idea. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done it before. Can I borrow yours to give to nope. him? Nope. Okay. Because I'll probably die. Well, isn't well? Won't you not turn into metal once you? I'll be dead. Yeah. We need all the gems so that I don't die when you take it away. Got hmm. it. That seems reasonable. I like you. Ditto. All right. Time for you to leave. Yep, no, nope. <laughs> the copter's already on. Cool. I'm going to go eat supper. How, you eat you yep. metal, man. Metal flakes. Keeps you regular. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you have metal poops? <laughs> That's right. All right. Metal flakes <laughs> and just, milk. It's just uh, ball metal. bearings. <laughs> yep. Got it. Carbon fiber one. Yeah. So he, he leaves because okay. <laughs> he's done with this conversation. I get back into the helicopter. Okay. Well, apparently Kamash had magic things for us, but we can't go back down into Massive City. Why? I mean, you, you can. It's just full of roots and probably demolished by, by roots now, I would guess. Uh, I have a shaman friend outside of Arkansas. 
I swear I would never go back to that city, but we could give him a try. Sure. You can go I'm, there if I'm you want. I'm talking to the party. Not to yeah, me. all right. Well, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Do I have enough gas to get down to Parkinson? Yeah. All right. So I want to park. I don't want to like just fly to Parkinson. Well, you know what? Let's do a pass over Parkinson. <laughs> trying to get some eyeballs on what's going on there. Okay. Perception check as you fly over Parkinson? Crit 20. Crit 20. You don't see any movement 19. whatsoever in Parkinson. Oh, God. None. Nope. How's the city look? Barren. Just no people. It looks an awful lot like New Cloverton. Yeah. Shit, we should have asked Judd what was that about. Let's go uh, back. <clears throat> what we should go check out Atlanta or in the area. I fly over to Atlanta. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a mound of dirt, so I mean, you wouldn't know unless you went inside. They have a sunroof. The sunroof? No, the sunlight. they don't. Well, they technically do, because it's an anthill. Basically. Okay, so you can see a very tiny hole, but it goes down really far, so... Do we see any, like, guard ants or anything? Roll perception? Uh, 24. Surprisingly, no guard ants. Um, why is everything outside dead? You don't see any bodies. You just don't see anything. Hmm. Alright, this is a little Game of Thrones, but we're going to travel fast <laughs> up to Port of St. Donald. Okay. Perception. Okay. 17. 21. Baron. No people. This seems like a horrible place. Why I go you... up to Tuskington. 24. They're all there waiting to beat you now. I'm just kidding. Baron of people. Hmm. Uh, we haven't been to Blaberian yet. If, it, if yeah, it's the that... root, if it's the Rudy man that you were talking about, there are less and less people for me to give the gift of karate to. I fly, <laughs> fly, we fly over to Blaberian. So, Blaberian is more of like an an icy landscape than Tuskington is. Like Tuskington right now is in the summertime, so. But Blaberian is still pretty icy, and so you don't really see any green for miles before you get there, and there seems to be people in that town. I fly down to Maple Hills. Uh, completely barren. Fuck. All right, I fly... Camel the- Tars, though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're somewhere. They're somewhere. All those kids. Uh, I guess we should fly back to Big Tinkerton, because I'll probably be getting low on fuel. Yeah, you're probably going to get low on fuel. Flu- 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 you're low on fuel. So let's land in Big, Big Tinkerton. Tinkerton. Yeah, okay, so you head back. I'm going to look before we land. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, with a 19. Everything seems normal. Seems normal. Yeah. In okay. Big Tinkerton? Yep. Were there, did we notice any routes around all these different cities? Nope. No, because they're coming from underneath. All right. Or holes. Do we notice holes? Nope. You didn't see any holes when you were in New Clover tonight either. Everything looked... You just saw some, like, track marks, it looked like. (laughs) But that was about it. But they could be anything. They could be, like, carriages, cars, carts, anything. Maple Hills was barren. Yeah. So every city that we've been to, except for Big Tinkerton and Blaberian... We well, we did, well, I'm sorry. The only town that we've been to, Big Tinkerton, everyone else is, is empty. Oh, we should have checked on the Malamarians, but... Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> so, <laughs> everywhere we take a gem from, they die? Well, there's no gems in St. Donald or Tuskington or Maple Hills. Everywhere you've ever gone, everyone is dead. Yeah, well, not dead, just... Not there anymore. Missing, per se. <laughs> I... Except Big Tinkerton. I'm glad I came with you then. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into. I just wanted a dojo permit. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm gonna get you that permit. All right. And technically, I've got cities for you to, to do whatever you want with. Ah, oh, shh. So you've landed back in Big Tinkerton to refuel, I'm, I'm guessing? We're gonna refuel... 50 gold. Got it. I throw him Kamash's 50 gold. I threw that in the ocean! <laughs> yes, you did. It's okay. Yeah! it's okay. I picked it up for you. <laughs> no, you didn't. So I give him 50 gold. Okay. 
You have lots of money, so it's not. Yeah, it's not an issue. And hey. while our helicopter is refueled, let's take a break. Let's take yeah. a break. Hi, everybody. Boxing, your friendly neighborhood goblin here. I'm here to talk to you about patreon.com slash botched podcast. I know you're probably sick of hearing about these assholes asking you for money, but between you and I, they fucking need it. They, they, they're living in some slum shit down in Gettysburg. But if you go there, there's four fabulous options you can take. $3 gets you their monthly one-off adventures. $5 gets you into the Discord. $10 you can make traps or or monsters or NPCs to fuck with them. For $50 a month, you can have the world's okayest DM call you every night and read you a bedtime story. Drifting off to sleep back to Goblin Land. That's patreon.com slash goblins. <laughs> what? What did you expect? I'm a goblin. And we're back. Chum, chum. All right. So, chum, chum. your helicopter is all refueled and ready to go. What are you guys doing? Going back to Jeb. We could uh, go see if anyone in Blubarian can help us. Did you want to The fly? Blubberinos? <laughs> the Blubberinos. I, I do want to go up there. Oh, squish, squish. But... You got to give us a... <laughs> squish. Oh, fish, fish. <laughs> what you doing, eh, fish, fish? <laughs> I, I thought blueberries were Italian. No, they're they're walrus. No, they're seal, they're people. seal people. Um, they all just look like seal. <laughs> so they're. <laughs> <laughs> they got fucked up faces. Yeah. <laughs> but they they just sing "Kiss by a Rose on the Grave" all the time. Just not. And fuck Nicole Kidman. <laughs> That's not at all. Heidi Klum, I'm pretty sure. Is who you're thinking of? Who's that? A really hot model. Judy Bloom. Or like Nicole model? Kidman. She's hotter than Nicole Kidman, I would say. Or should we fly up to Jed real quick to be like, what the fuck? Hey. Where's all the people? And then fly I think we know to... where all the people are. Well, yeah. he did say that Rudy's following us around. I and mean, those I, are all places we've been. I extrapolated that he's just stealing people for a massive army. Heidi Klum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. So then, do we really want to go to Blubarian to... I mean, I feel like they're not going to have anything for us, because you've killed all the NPCs that'll... Help us. No, no, we've never been we've to never Blubarian. been to Blubarian. It's true. So we haven't killed the NPCs yet. <clears throat> yet. And yeah. if word has traveled to them that we've killed someone from Tuskington, they mm. might be happy. Sure, let's do it. But then we're just giving them more. Don't more peyote. More peyote. What? <laughs> more peyote. Uh, you know. Also, it's a whole other. Sidetrack. I mean, unless they have... We need magic items to get to the clouds. Mm. And stay there. <laughs> and be able to stay in the clouds for as long as we need. Man. <laughs> we could just do a quick run through Cloud City. I'm sure it'll Fly be by. obvious where the king is. Right? I feel like that's not going to work. Okay, let's go to the blubs. Who was the white guy in the prologue? My guy? No, it was uh, technically Phil's guy. Yeah, it was me. Is he like well, a he was a miner, guys? I believe. You know, like a union guy. I was yeah. a union. Yeah. yeah. Can't fire me, bitch. I'm union. <laughs> Let's go to Blueberryan. Is that where you going? That's the sound of helicopter <laughs> man. <laughs> Can we fly over the Great Ice Plain just yeah. to see? What's Sounds awful. There? If there's anything up there worthwhile. Yeah, you can fly up there. To Blueberryan by way of the Great Ice Plane? Yeah, like yeah. just an arc. Sure, you can arc. A parable. Um, you do notice the more north you get, your instruments are starting to get a little frosty. It's cold. So, probably I'm not, not, not going to go like straight up. I didn't say that. <laughs> We're reaching the edge of the map, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. as you're reaching the edge of the map, it's getting a little chilly for your helicopter. There's, there's no invisible wall. There's just a freeze wall. <clears throat> we don't get to load it from our previous save. Got it. Because the battery, the watch battery. We're there. playing hardcore. Or it's like a fucking Conan, Age of Conan Exiles, where there's a big green cascading pixel wall, and if you go through it, your character dies. I was like, you. It's just, why isn't it just impassable? <laughs> Why does it kill me? 
Because it's brutal. It's the great beyond. <laughs> so, yeah, you just notice that the slowly your instruments are starting to freeze up the more north you go. So, it's like going out in the ocean too far in World of Warcraft. Yeah, got it. Fatigue. Fatigue. <sighs> Fatigue to tight. So I'm going to bring it back down. All right. So I mean, there's I, perception, but there's no... Bring it back no down. life. Bring it back down tonight. Ooh-hoo. Yeah, 23. Yeah, you're not seeing anything. It's just ice. All you right. see a couple critters every once in a while, like a polar bear here or there. <laughs> it's following us now. No. It's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, polar bears eat seals. <laughs> That's really We're do. bringing the whole, whole pack of polar bears with us. <laughs> <An> entire army. <laughs> All right. You just head so straight I'm to Bulbarian. Land it in the middle. Of <laughs> Are you the middle the of town? The field next to Bulbarian. Okay, so Bulbarian is a pretty small town. It's not super super big. Uh, none of the buildings are terribly large or complicated or anything like that. They're pretty simple shit huts. Yeah, I wouldn't go that simple, but <laughs> yurts. <laughs> They're stone. Yurt. Stone and ice ish. So when you land, um, there is like a greeting party that comes out to see you, and these are, they're pretty tubby people, but they, they sort of waddle. These are funny looking. But they're, um, they've got like little, little seal snouts. seal snouts and like whiskers and just the biggest fucking eyes you've ever seen. Anime eyes? <laughs> yeah. Bigger. Like way bigger. Uh, de- desu desu? And they're like, Kawaii? um, so they, they wander up and they're like, Hey, hey guys! Full <laughs> town is rolling on Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man! Do you guys like to dance? <laughs> <laughs> yes, like in the living room. Come see our sh- shaman fairy. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys? What? What was that? That's pretty cool. That's your mecha copter. <laughs> That's just my ride. Oh wow! To so Braca Chop. Uh, Broccoli. It's a chocolate broccoli. Chocolate broccoli. <laughs> get to the chocolate broccoli. <laughs> where'd you Where'd you guys get something like that? I've don't I, worry I've about it. it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty good with my hands. Kika! Well, and like oh, you've they, got potential. They have like life. a real slow react. You do the chi cha, and then it's just like a real slow like whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you think that was cool, check this out. I do a karate kata at them. A karate kata? <laughs> Kaka! Yeah. <laughs> I got a 22 to do the same movements as him. Slightly <laughs> faster. They're like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you guys are like some sort of warriors or something. Yeah. Do you have a shaman leader who I could talk about a mushrooms leader? with? I show them. They're like, not a leader, but we got a shaman, bro. Yeah, we. Uh, can I, take I, me to your shaman. Take me to your shaman. Sure thing, man. And they just waddle their way into the town. I like this place. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just like people just hanging around, just having a good time. Just looking at their fins. <laughs> Whoa, man. Your fins are crazy, man. Whoa, dude. Look so at you, the bristles on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to a slightly larger hut, and it's got lots of like. Fish skeletons and walrus skulls hanging out front, and this very fat seal. But like they call for it, sorry, whatever okay. reason, extra cute face comes out. And he's got all these walrus skulls, so he's like, "Yeah, what can I do for you?" They call him fins, but you've never seen him escape the first order, man. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. Nope, don't even do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> This will be our last recording. Last one. You'll never hear from us again. <laughs> what's uh, what's up, bros? Uh, we were trying to go to Cloud Shitty. Oh, man. But we kept pre- falling through. That's pretty tough. Yeah, you got to be a cloud being Cloud City, man. Do you have any suggestions on how we could become like the clouds? Well, man... I'd have to look. You guys don't... Have you guys ever seen anything like that before? No, Like dude. for me to go off of, like potion or something? Uh, wait, 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 Mecha Brock? Didn't uh, you have some sort of acid uh, vial? No. no. Oh, you mean these? Yes. And I take the out vial. my three clear okay. liquid uh, vials. Perception check? Uh, 24. Seven. Like... 
just like a all of a sudden it's in the shaman's hand like one of them he's just like oh yeah man like this might be it hold on hey Kenny Kenny come over here Kenny and he's just like yeah shaman bro <laughs> He says, uh, here, hold on a second. He just, like, pops open Kenny's mouth and pours it down his throat. <laughs> and he, he turns into a cloud Kenny. He's like, whoa, cloud Kenny, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, well. He's like, Weesh. yeah, man, if you give me one of those vials, give me a couple hours, I could probably come up with something for you. Well, you already have it, so. Uh, I gave it all to Kenny. I only have two of these I left. I certainly hope you can. I gave it to cloud own. Kenny. <laughs> our only. You think he's going to not be a cloud at some point? Well... There's no telling. Guess we'll find out, Cloud Kenny. <laughs> Stay away from those brisk breezes, bro. Flow right away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Someone <laughs> stop that desk fan. <laughs> oh, there goes Cloud Kenny. He'll be fine. It's cool. So I toss him one? Yeah, I only need one, bro. All right, here. I don't throw it because he's got fins. Sure. <laughs> he's got kind of hands. <laughs> Place it in his fins. Kind of? I, I just... It's like the penguin. In his fin curse? He's got... I do that. Um, so yeah, he takes. He's like, "All right, man, you you get back with me tomorrow morning. I'll probably have something for you." What is there to do in the meantime? Well, uh, do you like fish? I like fish. Well, we've got lots of fish here, bro. No, you can also probably go fishing if you like fishing. Uh, you could probably fuck some of these seal chicks. They're pretty cute. <laughs> Uh, around what time do you think you'll be finished with the, uh, <laughs> like, the like I said, probably first thing in the morning, bro. Yeah. I'll, I'll work on it all night. All right, we should guide this room so no one root fucks him to death. You Somebody, have, it's you got like a defense for the city. Nah, it's just pretty cold. Oh, oh, damn it! Usually, the only, the only people that come up here are these. Those bummers from Tuskington. Fuck Tuskington. Yeah, they're yeah, pretty... we we killed one. I of them killed a man. Well, that's not cool, bro. Oh, I mean, uh, and... it was of old age, but we were there. Wait, it was a man. Yeah. Oh, that's double not cool, bro. No, I we mean, we just witnessed him. There's just lamos over there. Okay, they're just squares. <laughs> they but they were they talking seem... pretty hardcore. Well, like... they, they like to throw shade, but it's nothing, man. It's pretty. They cool. had skulls of. What, what, what's your name, well, Mr. Shaman? I got Shaman. skulls and walruses here, too. So hey, that's Mr. Whatever. Shaman, what's your name? Craig. <laughs> <laughs> it is Craig. You, you thought it would be Chad? <laughs> well, what's your last name? <laughs> Zliss. Saw dude? <laughs> Saw dude. No, it's... Uh... Seely Man. Something like that. Seely Dan. Seely Dan. Seely Dan. Dan. Oh, my God. The mayor. <laughs> The mayor of Blueberryan. That's canon Dan. now. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's Seely canon. Seely Dan, all right. It's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Some like... people like to call me Craig T. Nelson, but it's just because I'm cool like the coach. Uh, nah, I don't <laughs> appreciate that reference. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't all our it. 45 and older <laughs> listeners feel like, yeah, I get that show. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I listen. Yep. For the, <laughs> for the Cheers gym. Or not the coach. Cheers, it's Co- coach. Which was a coach part of Cheers? It was an offshoot. No, it wasn't. You're thinking of Frasier. No. <laughs> coach well, was I'm definitely not an offshoot. I think it's a it great was. show. Coach is about like high school football. Yeah, I mean, What's Frasier an offshoot of? Cheers. Cheers. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Kelsey really? Grammer's Kelsey Grammer character is the same in both. Fra- Frasier and they just moved him to Seattle. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So anyways... So yeah, like, or you could probably just ask around. There's probably some people who are looking for some stuff to do or something. These are, or you just take a nappy poo. Yeah, I'll do that. I can't stop myself from absorbing your action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna med- chill, bro. meditate upon the chillness. That sounds pretty cool and chill. I'm gonna get up and get down with the chillness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Well, that's pretty gnarly, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go in my tent here and I'm gonna work this problem out for you. Looks like you guys probably need another three or four vials, so I'll probably I'll probably get you that. Thanks, dude. Oh, I'm real. Choo choo train. That's the sound of him crafting. <laughs> Come on and ride it. Choo choo ride it. <laughs> you guys have a a. Uh... A bar? A bar? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no. Is it bars. called the blah bar? No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> it should be. <laughs> it's called the floppy fish, bro. All right. The flaccid fish? No, floppy fish. It's the floppy disc. No. The flaccid disc? It's a flaccid dick. Y'all will get it. Oh, that's what it is, bro. All right, I'm going there. Okay. You go there. There's just... Seems like it's a fairly um, happening place. There's lots of people. Well, blubber people. There, This town, I would say, there's only a handful of regular humans. Um, not a whole lot of other races. I think there's two moose people. That's about it. There's two moose people, and I would say six humans, and the rest are seal people. I'm yeah, gonna, well, they like the cold. I'm going to go up and talk to... The humans. They're like, uh, oh. Hey. Hey, man, where are you from? Originally? Um, my family hailed from Massive City at some point, and then, you know, kind of left town after they opened it up. Where are you from? Oh, all over the place. Uh, I was in, uh, spent a stint in, uh, Cloverton. I leave. <laughs> He's like, oh, nice talking to you, too. Asshole. Yeah, I mean you couldn't answer a question correctly. I just he asked. wasn't any. He wasn't from any one place. <laughs> from everywhere, man. Yeah, he's from everywhere, man. I go to a different human. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> one that looks like Hi. he's from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Where are you from? Well, uh, I'm kind of from everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Being all I just, over the I place. I turn around and go, Oh my God! <laughs> Oh, Jesus! I, we're not allowed to move around here. God, you fucking camel tards! Are you from? Do you have fucking backpacks and? I go to the moose person. No, we've lived here for like twenty years. The moose person. The moose person's like, I'm from Maple Hills. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Knuckles out. He sort of gives you like a hesitant knuckle. Have you been there recently? How long have you been up here? Uh, about five years. Okay, mm. it's gone. What? Yeah. What do you mean it's gone? It's, gone. it's not there anymore. What? Hey, well, well, Yo, don't leave you, me. Go check. Wait, well, hold what? on. No, it's gone. Trying to start he immediately gets up and leaves. Yeah, no. He's gone. It's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. He's not there anymore. <laughs> Ian runs out. <laughs> <laughs> he starts running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking and running at the same time. Splice <laughs> 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 in the train. Yeah. <laughs> He okay. didn't really. I, I had something to talk to him about, but he kind of left. Yeah, because you told him his town doesn't exist. Well, anymore. I mean, he hasn't been there in five years. Well, I mean, it's really not even his town oh, okay. anymore. This well, is his last day. He was maybe gonna he go is. back tomorrow. Yeah, his family there. So yeah. he's gonna run. Back. No, he doesn't. He's gonna well, ask out that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally gonna ask Jenny? out Sheila. After five years of meditation with these seal pokes, librarians, I'm ready. Yeah, so he's gone. Okay. Everyone you talk to is just having a great old time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's me in real life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, I'm not an asshole. It's a character I play. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Kiss me in the mouth. Punch. Stop. <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. Anymore. I have bruises next. I get day. it. I get it. I was a terrible drunk. It was great. Stop reminding me about it. I liked it. I just wanted to go away. It was amazing. Well, it was recorded. <laughs> Yep. Is that why the feed cut out? Did you pull it? <laughs> <laughs> cut the feed. Cut it. Cut it. So I'll just... Drink some seal juice? I'll order this, their local delicacy at the bar. What do you it's... guys drink up here? Oh, the fish smoothies. I'll take two. All right. <laughs> Raw fish and mayonnaise. So it's, it's, it's like a greenish-brownish color. And then it just has like a, instead of an umbrella, it's like a fish skeleton with just the head yep. sticking out of it. It goes, there you go. So I swirl it. I drink it. Uh, it tastes like um, salmon. Doesn't look like salmon. And I'm cool with it. Yeah. Also a little alcoholic, which in, like makes you feel warm on the inside immediately. What's the calorie count on this? <sighs> How many points is it? <laughs> What's... Two many, pureed salmon. How many <laughs> and, steps do I got to take? It's about 900 calories. Per drink? Yeah. They I've add some worse. things to it. I think, I think, where were we? It's like drinking a Mai Tai. You're in the bar. No, 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 no. We Maple Hills had the huge The one. moose juice? Yeah. The moose juice was like 1,600 calories. A... Yeah, that was a lot. Well, the moose are big. Can I get a, a warm fish juice? Yeah. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. That's two gold, by the way. One, yeah, yeah, One yeah. for each of you. Here you go. Do a con check, by the way, each of you. I passed mine. I okay. already rolled mine. Uh, I got a 15. Yeah, you're fine. 
Anybody else doing anything at the bar? Okay. I was guarding the shaman's hut. Okay, so you're guarding the shaman's hut. Grawl, what are you doing? Same thing? Whiskey. Whiskey? He goes, sure. Whiskey. Gives you a shot of whiskey. Old, old pizza, all right? Leave the bottle. Oh, okay. That'll be three gold. Okay. <laughs> you idiots are paying stupid prices <laughs> for your drinks. Apparently. Contract. Super great. Apparently, getting fish to make alcohol is more expensive than... Whiskey. Fermented fish. Oh, God. Fish booze. They just import it. The booze and add it to the fish. Fishy. Fishy. <laughs> drink. Drink. Take some fishy. It's, it's made from fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Are you doing anything else in the bar or just going to wait it out till the next day? Well, I want to talk to some of these barbarians. No, I don't. Okay. I want to go back and guard the shaman. Okay. So eventually this old man wanders up and just wraps his arm around Mecca Brock. And he's like, hey, you son of a bitch, I remember you, you, you pretty cool dude. It's been a long time. How are you doing, Jim? It's been great. It's good. How are you? I, I've been waiting for you to come back so we can go get that treasure chest. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember. You remember? I remember. Yeah, when are we going to go get that? Let's do it now. Do it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's do it. go. All right, you got a boat or something? I got a helicopter. Well, it's under the water. This is an aquacopter. It's an aquacopter? It's right into the ocean. <laughs> 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 so now I got to sneak to the helicopter, steal it, and then... We'll get there eventually. It. Steal your own helicopter? Yeah. <laughs> Drunkenly fly it into the ocean. <laughs> I'm getting treasure. <laughs> what are you? Uh, yeah, what are you, a yeah, Kennedy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Too soon. Mm. Good. <laughs> Good. 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 You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, oh, that's a good joke. You better leave that in, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, what are we, uh, what, I don't know what an aquacopter is, but that sounds pretty cool. Let's go do it. No, no, no let's, uh, it's, let's go do it. I have Jim. to rotate its rotors. Uh, rotors. I mean, you've got a boat. I've seen you on it. It's not a great boat. It's, it's not, not real, it's good enough. It's not good for ice. It's a, this it's, ice is the problem. You can attach the flamethrowers to the front. The flamethrower? Do you have flamethrowers? <laughs> I don't have flamethrowers. <laughs> There's one over there. Where's the one? And I point towards the fireplace. So you're trying to convince him to jump in a fire? No, no, <laughs> just to walk bring away. The, bring the fire with him. He goes, all right, Brock, let's go get it. And he's like, what did he call me? Brock. How does he know my name? Broccoli. <laughs> he called you Jim a minute ago. He called me Jim Sorry. a minute ago. Jim. All right, Jim, let's go get it. All and right. then he's, he's pulling you towards the fireplace. I, can I? I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. Check. Oh, dude, no. Grab it with your metal hand and get, tell him to grab one, too. <laughs> All right, so I go over there and I grab one with my, my metal hand. One of the l- burning long? logs. Okay, yeah. And it's like, wow, Jim. Get yours. Sure, I get one or two. Up, oh, cool. And he grabs these, he's like, he just holds it, <laughs> and his hands are on fire, and the skin's falling off. He's like, Jim, I think I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and he just runs through the bar, but he's not letting go. Oh, no, just, no, someone open no, that door. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> just running around the bar. So, can I put the fire... Jim, I'm on fire, Jim! Can, can, I, can I throw my back into the fire? Yeah. So it doesn't look like I caused this problem. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Brock. I don't know who he's talking to. <laughs> and some guy runs over and they just tackle him out the door and they just pat him like, out. God damn it, Pat. Every week you light yourself on fire, I feel like, somehow, some way, because someone convinces you to put your hands in the fire. Stop drinking fishkies. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Bert. It's just so good in my tongue. I just want to go get my treasure chest. Whatever. Pat, no one cares about your treasure chest. Oh, I don't care about that treasure. I feel like there's treasure to be had. I feel like... like there's a treasure chest? There's like the one quest we can actually do that's left because everything else is dead. And and like <laughs> maybe this has... Will be helpful. Helpful things in it. Like something that could have been in Kamash's bag but then got moved <laughs> after... I'm into sorry, a what? Side quest. What, what? What are you talking about? Don't know. All right. He died of natural causes. I believe him. It's natural to die when you have a knife stuck in your face. <clears throat> it's natural. 
I'm not here. Yeah, yeah I'm not there. Either. It's just you and Grohl. Grohl's drink whiskey, and you're. <laughs> so, can I talk to the bartender? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bert comes back inside, Bert. wipes the pat off of his hands. What's with that guy? Well, he's a drunk. What's he talking about treasure for? Well, he used to be on a passenger ship back in the day, and he says they were hauling some kind of treasure, and it sank in the ocean. Pat's been here ever since, talking about treasure. I had an idea for Egbert. What if we took the gems and flew out to the Great Ice Plains until our plane was about to break and threw it (laughs) further out, (laughs) and then marked it on a map and came back for it, and maybe he'd be frozen when he got out there. He could be. So he couldn't survive it, but we would be fine. Yeah. Well, we, we would get to right to the edge, yeah. throw it, and then turn around. Because he's going to have to go. But he's we probably going to break through the it. ice. It's probably not a good idea. It's a yeah. bad idea. Okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll start living out it's on the It's not the, the worst idea you've had. What do you think the worst idea we've had is? The stand in the sleepy time dust and punch, punch, punch. Yeah, that was that probably was the worst bad. idea. You guys mm-hmm. I thought it was a uh, jump from the huge level. So they were just jumping down. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That, actually, that, never mind. That was the worst. In a similar know. vein, Tristan's. I'm just going to jump it. When your paladin dies. Mm. There's yeah. a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump it. I'm going to jump it. Why? I'm just gonna There's jump. a rope. I just can grab onto it. Nope. Swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> but the robot caught me. Beat to death. I like yours. Uh, I'm not leaving without that cobalt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not leaving without the cobalt. I'm not fucking leaving without him. We have to go. I told him I would save him. I don't care. I'm not leaving without him. All right, so strength him out. You rip him in half. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't dead. <laughs> He's <is> alive. Because <laughs> he was a zombie sort cobalt. Of. Anyways. Well, is the treasure real or is it just the... I mean, the boat. I mean, the boat was real. I mean, I don't know about any treasure. I Has he ever said boat. what was in the, the what the treasure was? I oh, mean, he just said to some sort of ancient items of treasure. Whatever. To I don't me, know. could be, you know. And he seemed to think they were. He seemed to think they were some kind of like weapons or something. He said it was a pretty one. At least one of the things was like a wand of some kind. <gasps> Made him wonder about things or something. I don't know. All right. We should so, find this treasure. One of one if you would say on a map, where would this have sunk? Oh, I would say it sunk about uh, where that second wavy line is. <laughs> that second wavy line. One closest to the Great Ice Plane? I would say probably pretty close to that. Yeah, that second uh, diagonal line. Probably right in the middle of that. Probably where it sank. In the yeah. ice? Yeah. Not the wavy line, the diagonal line. Oh, you mean in the ice. Yeah, well, you can just turn it into fire and I melt can. your way down. It's pretty fine. I'm sure I'll... I mean, it's it's still... There's an ocean underneath it. Yeah. Thing. You just gotta get down in the ocean. If only Ziggy were here. I mean, you could talk to the fishermen. They use those glass bubble things. And they go down and they... Submarines. No, like it's a, it's a glass bulb. <laughs> About this Put it over your head. To like a rope. Have you never seen Waterworld? It's a thing. It's called a bathosphere. Whatever. Glass bubble thing. Yeah, glass bubble thing. I'll have to think about this. Yeah, it's good. Thanks, man. Hey, man, whatever. No Here's problem. three Hands gold. Out of, yep, he's putting his hand out. He's like, yank, thanks. Grohl says yes. We should bring Pat Pat with us. Well, yeah. Or the he, junk he, knows he knows where it is. Yeah. So I'm going to go back. Yeah. To the... And then when we kick him down the hole after we take the treasure, we can say something <laughs> cool like... Stay cool, man. <laughs> or... <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> you need to chill out. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Damn it. Nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Have an ice day? Yep. Yeah. Have an ice day. Uh, Look, like basically, we have to watch Batman wagon. forever. Yeah. Anyways. Die already. <laughs> um, so, yes, I will go back to the shaman's hut. Yeah. And talk to David. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for... Let's so wait for morning and get our things. Yeah. From the shaman. And then... You guys want to go on like a little side quest? I do like treasure. They yeah. said like a wand Ancient or wonder items. or something. Yeah, that sounds cool. Shaman sticks his head. He's like, you guys could probably go get that while I'm doing this. It'll be done by the time you get here. 
Wow, that's a very Nothing. knowledgeable NPC. He's dropping on you guys or anything. Sounds fine. No, not at all. Yeah, now, We've just, I, now I think you're eavesdropping <laughs> on everyone, but that's fine. Yeah, whatever. So we're, the we're like, so what you use the animal what, spirits for is up to we, you, bro. Do we, do we jog there? Or? Well, I mean, here's the thing. He pops his head Let's, back out. He's like, you could borrow my like little mushy team thing. Uh, yeah, great. Dog sled? It's not dogs. Is it? It's dog <laughs> Is it bunny it's rabbit chocolates or bunnies? Not that. It's duck. Let's can we can we can we remove <laughs> ourselves away from? I think we should the take, his, real quick? take his sled. I I, agree. I will use your sled. And we'll need one of those. Uh, what are they called? Bathyspheres. It's called a bathysphere. Very yeah, knowledgeable can... about this girl. Girl used to dive. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Girl got brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Down for too long. Girl trained in CPR. Girl used to be marine biologist. <laughs> now Girl dumb. All now changed one day. Girl was clinically dead for seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> too long, they said. Girl say never they, too they long. They said two minutes far and seven minutes bad. <laughs> <laughs> now Girl Girl. Now Girl Girl. <laughs> Grow lucky he's not a vegetable. <laughs> I hate vegetables. I hate, does not I like hate vegetables. No, girl, girl is a vegan. <laughs> Don't want to be. Girl not told you this, David Hyper. Cannibal. <laughs> Eat my own. You got your name right. <laughs> It's the wish game. <laughs> Grohl's not, isn't his last name like Grolikowski or some shit like that? No, it's Barrison. Barrison, that's right. His full name is Grolicky. Grolicky. <laughs> that's why I couldn't find your character sheet. Yeah. So I was like, this doesn't look like Grohl. <laughs> All right, I was so like, oh, wait. Can we remove ourselves from the shaman real quick? He so seems pretty talk? nice. Yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> okay. but no, it's cool. I'm just going to go back here and work on this. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah just, I think you're just going to wait until an opportune moment where you can say something <laughs> that will help us. And we're just going to... Yeah, well, here, here. I mean, we're guarding him because the roots are taking everybody. And yeah. Like, like, have you seen any other plants around here? No, what but, roots, bro? Oh, God. He's just like there next to your group all of a sudden. <laughs> Jesus. He, <laughs> he comes up slowly in the middle of the <laughs> <God. laughs> What well, roots, guys? Is this why it's going to take until morning? To <laughs> <laughs> do you just do this all day? I'm sneaky, bro. So I don't know what to tell you. Just stop it. <laughs> Go, go finish the thing. Should we tell them about the danger? Maybe they could, you know, mount some sort of defense. Or get really high and, and try and respect <laughs> the roots boundaries, man. Oh, God, what was Could that? always smoke the roots, bro. Uh, nah, uh, have you not. Tried, have you tried smoking the roots, bro? It might actually work. Yeah, it's cold enough. And I, just... I, don't, I just don't want to go out <laughs> to the ice plains and then come back. To a dead To a dead place. shaman. And no, with no potions. potions. Yeah. Well, fuck it. Let's do this. Let's... I say we do it. Let's stay, get our potions, and then go on this quest. He says, well, that's cool. Sounds reasonable. That's fine. There's the only thing to have in these potions while you're on your quest. Like, what What happens if some one of you fuckers are carrying them? And then, oh, dead. No more potions. We'll split them up. <laughs> but I mean, And then a dead man doesn't need a potion. That's right. A dead man needs no potions. <laughs> Fair enough. And he just slinks back into the ground and pops back up in the... T- <laughs> That's so <laughs> weird. God, seals are I cool. I really <laughs> kind of want to use Old Spice now. <laughs> <laughs> so are you using his sled? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. We have to find Pat. Well, he's at the bar. He lives there. Pat's sitting outside, just looking at his hands with the skin hanging off him. He's like, should put those on ice. And he just slowly puts them in the snow. Ow! <laughs> and he looks at him, and he puts them in the snow. Ow! Patrick! Patrick! Jim! It's me, Jimmy. Hey, Jim, what are you doing, Jim? I'm getting I right. burned my hands on that log. I don't know how you did it. You must be magic? That's something? true. Are you magic, Jim? Jim! <gasps> oh! What was that? What'd you do? I formed, you a, a, I formed a team, and then <gasps> I move, <sighs> and the party's behind yeah, me. Hi. And I minor illusion some fireworks behind us. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm the wrong guy. Jim, that's pretty crazy, Jim. We should get these magic people. We're going to go get some treasure, bro. <gasps> Let's go get some fucking treasure. We got to get you. You got a boat? We've got a sled. 
<gasps> I got a sled. All right, that sounds good. How are we going to get in the water, Jim? It's a fish drawn oh, sled. Need a, I imagine. We need a, <laughs> a, need a bathosphere. We, need, we have a bathosphere. Hamster wheel. We need a fish globe for people. That sounds pretty crazy, Jim friend. I don't to, know your name, Jim friend. This is Carl. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Jarl. Let's find Jarl. I'm Jarl. Yep, Jarl. That's, that's cool. Let's go. And where's this is, me. Where's the fish sled? This is Nathan. George. Got it, George. And that's Grohl. And Bob. Where at Bob? Don't forget these names. Yep. Jarl, Bob, and George. Jim. 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 Jim George. George. All right. Where's this? You know the way. Oh, well, I don't. Where's the sled? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the shaman's there with his sled. <laughs> He's like... Hey guys, I got the sled here for you. I heard you could use it right now. You're about to leave. Do you ever do any work? I do work all day, bro. I, this is not work. This existence this is work. Exactly. I, oh. See, this guy gets it, bro. This guy gets it. Because <laughs> he's always on mushrooms. <laughs> See, on mushrooms or the mushrooms on him. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got mushrooms on him. Exactly. And, we'll and, think, him, about we'll and think about it. He's, think about it. Think about it. And I'm, then he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just gone again. <laughs> Uh, the sled is pulled by ferrets. <laughs> dozens. Just, sorry, did you say fairies? Ferrets. Dozen of ferret. Dozens of ferrets. Ah, woolly ferrets. Cat snakes. Yes, very woolly ferrets. They've got little. You don't fangs. even see their legs or tusks. They just look like snakes, like furry snakes. Mm. Uh, well, that's my favorite kind of snake. All aboard. We, we gotta go get a, a thing. I thought we had one. It's tied to the back already. Oh, and let's a go. <laughs> let's it go. <laughs> let's it go. Mush. <laughs> oh, Jim. Hang on, Jim. These ferrets are crazy. And it's just like, it's barely moving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's barely moving. So can I strap him into the to the sled? He's like hanging off the side. <laughs> but, but he's not because <laughs> no, he is. He's, dra- he's being drugged. <laughs> he's being drugged. So I'm going to just pick him up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jim, you're so strong. With a he's like, he's squeezing your muscly arms, but he's going ow every time because it burned. Why don't you take a, take a seat, Patrick? Let's wrap those up. Give me your hands. Put your hands up. What are you going to do on my hands? Did you going to magic them? Medicine them up. you going to magic my hands, Jim? Jim. With uh, Jim. The magic of strips of Are cloth. you a doctor, Jim? With 14. You put bandages on him. He's like, am I a mummy, Jim? Uh, before what did you do to me? Before we go, we should probably get some cold weather gear. <laughs> nah, that's my, fine. Nah. My, <laughs> my gi is not good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a little cold. Yeah, that's you, you are a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the shaman... <laughs> he's, just, he's walking next to your, your sled and he just goes, Oh yeah, I got you some, uh, some warming potions. So they'll keep you toasty on the inside and your tum-tums. Oh. This guy is really great. <laughs> that doesn't keep my skin I from give him, freezing on. I give him some mushrooms back to him. Sweet. He takes the mushrooms and he's just going again. I have a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. I oh, should dash them on warm his warm hands. Enough. But he says the warming. I mean, he said the warming potion should it. work just fine. Keep me from forgetting frostbitten. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good enough for Open me. Open that gear up. Let's go. <laughs> Rub it on him like... like well, uh, <laughs> I guess we should get naked. And drink these potions and uh, go into the icy waste. To intimidate, to intimidate anyone who <laughs> should find us. You won't want to fight this, do you, polar bear? <laughs> you find the only gay polar bear. <laughs> 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 so you guys are just riding off into the snowy wastes. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to say, <sighs> at some point, Jim's going to be like, it should be around right here anywhere. Uh, wait, no, not Jim. His name's Pat. Pat's gonna be like, it's around right here any place, Jim. Blah. I don't remember. I'm drunk. Do you remember where the treasure is, Jim? Well, there's there. No. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you can intelligence it if you'd like. It's a sunken ship, correct? Yeah. Seventeen. Uh, you have a very rough idea of where it should be. It could be anywhere in the next mile. So could then I use a nature check? Like, how deep is... Would any part of the ship be... No. Protruding out? No? Start melting. It's true. I could melt the ice and then send the tank down there. You can go down that tank. (laughs) 
I uh, mean, this character is too valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll feed it's the cool. corn to you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The hose. I'll do. I, I mean, I'll do it. Okay, so you're just gonna dig a hole right there? Well, no, I'm gonna turn my hand into flames. Okay. And then. Oh, uh, Jim! <laughs> you're on fire. You're too. on fire, Jim! And he just starts like throwing snow at you. Just throwing snow. Do we really need this guy? <laughs> we do. I okay. can't have another. Can we just knock him out? Just give him alcohol until they fall asleep. Um, and then I'm gonna no, melt a big mine. enough hole. Okay, so it's gonna take a little while. Yeah. So you melt a hole in the ice big enough for the bathtub bath bath thing bath to do. Bath just, can you just put bath the bathosphere bath bath on your head and then flame on and then just <laughs> <laughs> face plant? <laughs> I guess you could. I could. And then like, kind of like <laughs> do one of those, you know, like. Where you're like in the center and you're like wheeling your legs around to make a circle, so you make a like a a, a sphere. Could I just put on my break head? dancing? Yeah. Well, no, because then my Brock dancing, my Brock flame dancing. on would probably melt the the tank. Well, if it's on you, doesn't it stay? Because you should be. Your clothes don't burn, but I'm not saying it's really like attached in that way. Yeah. So I don't so know if it'll I melt glass. Gonna, but I'm gonna melt a hole yeah. and then put it on. Okay, that's fine. And then jump on in. Yep. So, uh, how far do you want to sink before you do any checks? Do I have any... Light source? <laughs> yeah, is there a light source on the helmet? Mm, there is a lantern of sorts. I'm going to try to flame on with my hand. Okay. Does that work? Mm, like bubbles go it, around it's, you? <laughs> it's just kind of like, just yeah, it's just like, it's not really working too well, since you're surrounded by water. Bubbles come off your hands like you've hands pretty much. How dead. do I know how deep the water might be? Um, do a nature check. Thirteen. Pretty Good deep. Twenty. Uh, you David know I pan says that it's probably about a hundred feet deep. It's oh. not too far down. It's not too far. So yeah, you could do a perception check. You might see the bottom so or close enough. So perception then would be a. 25. You're looking around and you don't see anything in your viewable distance, so you don't think the ship is yeah, right here. This is the here. beginning of the mile. We probably should go a little further. So then I'm going to pull do, on the do. cord. Alright, so you guys pull them back up. Do a strength check just to make sure. Grow. Grow assists. 16. Yeah, you're fine. I'm going to do a quick nature check as I was down there. Is that water too frigid for anything to live in? No. So there's probably boogums. Sharks. And sharks. I don't know about sharks. Sea snakes. Octopies. <laughs> Could be anything. You All don't right. know. Whales. Squibs. <clears throat> Whales. You should bring a harpoon. Or a trident. That's true, I should. Because I... Yeah. All right, well, let's venture forth a okay. little bit further. Okay. So Same. You, how far out do you want to go this time? Quarter mile. Quarter mile, okay. So you go down. All right. Melt that ice. Yep. Same process. You Hop drop in. one in. Bloop. This time you have a spear. I have. Well, I have my red sword. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Uh, oh, you drop it. What? I'm going to attach myself to you. Oh. Does your uh, helmet have a filtration system? To see if the helmet has <laughs> a let water me breathe filter. Yeah. water. Okay. High or low? Low. All right. Yeah, it does. All right. Awesome. It does something. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you can breathe underwater with your helmet. I can hold my breath for five I'm going to guess you probably can't breathe for a super long time with that helmet since there's no air supply with it. It filters Unless it you, from it the water. It. Oh, it yeah. just, it just yeah. does. Uh, okay. It just pulls the oxygen I out gotcha. of the water. I got you. It just gotcha. pumps in music it's from, from the, the future. The that's fair. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beats. It, it exchanges beats for air with the water. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So, uh, perception check while you're down there. Uh, no. 18. Uh, you don't see a ship, but you swear you do see a large shadow move in the distance. Uh, <laughs> triple pull. Triple Strange pull, and I grab onto Cord's arm. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh, you're gonna have to roll this one. I got a 12. I got a 10. Not great. So instead of going up, it mm -hmm. starts to go down a bit as the, it's slacked. So you're pulling too hard. Do another perception check. He's got low light vision. <clears throat> dark vision. Dark vision. Dark Sixty vision. feet, and I rolled a twenty-four. 
that shadow that was swimming around seems to be swimming in your general direction now. And it's a very large shadow. Uh, telepathy. Um, are you seeing what I'm seeing, dog? Yeah, Cause I this am. is not cool. With a 20. Oh. Um, Strength check again? So can 26. we start? 26? This time you yank him right up. <gasps> Do it. There's some da- my grip on his hand <laughs> is pretty strong. Okay. So Should we, 23. uh... 23. Okay. Should we wrap something There's poisonous? There's something down there. There really is. And it's huge. Should we wrap something poisonous in something tasty and throw it down there? Uh, <laughs> as, 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 as I look, you at, look at yeah. fucking Patrick. <laughs> yeah. What did you look at me D- for? David. Why did you say that? David, you've been out in the wasteland for the last <laughs> changes 24 people. hours. It changes people, man. I, eight hours, I was not eight hours. The ferret. <laughs> oh, the ferret. Yeah. You kept looking then at me. Then how do we get back? <laughs> they all just collectively look at you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yes, no, my pretty boy. furry snakes. You're, you're safe. You're safe. For now. Pat, what, what is down there? Patrick. Patrick, what, what, what? what is what's alive down there? That's uh, something huge. Probably a fish. It's probably but a fish, Jim. A little it's bit bigger than a fish. fish. There's big fish in the ocean, Jim. Well, now that you mention it, I, I think the boat might run into a big fish, and that's why it went in the water. But I didn't see a big fish when I swam to shore. Okay, we're going to have to put him. How did I get to shore? I don't even remember. I don't remember. Yeah, you were there, Jim. I was there. I don't remember. I believe you kick paddled on a board together. On a door. Ah, oh, the door. Doorboard. 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 Yeah, that was the that was doorboard. He just falls asleep. Maybe we should wait for him to sober up. Or, oh, you and know, then shave him the pain of the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Toss him in the water. David you, use him as a fishing lure. <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> Instant blood loss. <laughs> Him. My <laughs> dojo is in ruins. <laughs> I have nothing to live for. You have a, a, a permit up in Big Tinkerton. Not yet. No, yeah, we'll get it for you. All right, we go out another quarter mile. Okay. Doing the same thing? Mm-hmm. I think we need to kill this fish somehow. Yeah. Don't we have anything? Well, I'm going to put the hole down. Burn okay. the hole open. I've got a drill gun. I have a hammer. I've. I can punch it. And shoot you can shoot it with your laser, cannon your beam once. cannon. Yeah. I can give it psychic headaches. <laughs> they can give it a nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious <laughs> You can use the wand, don't it? That's true. Enlarge. <laughs> I thought that I thought the wand of wonder was something different. No, the wand of wonder is a random d20 of things. Oh, why are we trying to get this wand? Fuck this wand. There's probably more stuff. Could be something else. We're already here. There's multiple treasures. <clears throat> okay. This was your idea. It was not my idea. <laughs> so as the party debates about debates on what to do with this giant hole in the ice and this shadow may be lurking underneath, we are going to call it. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Botch Podcast. Thanks to the people who support us over at patreon.com slash botch podcast, like our newest patron. Brant P, and please feel free to leave us a five-star review on iTunes. And as always, as you're drinking with your friends at the bar, trick them into grabbing fire! Ha! It hush. <laughs> and then yell botched. Uh, well, laugh botched as they scream. Botch! 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 See you next week, nerds. Homer could take you out. That's right. Homer? <laughs> yeah. Your husband, Homer. My husband, Homer. <laughs> My husband's bigger than your husband. He could take you Later. out on a nice dinner. I'll see your husband and raise you mine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>